Hey guys, good morning from Thaka Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's let's do a couple more reviews. Uh, as you can see right in front of me, I have this beautiful presentation as for House of Latafa. And this is a pride or you can say upper class niche line. And this fragrance called Nibras, okay, or Nibras. So I've been uh, putting this in a couple of lists lately and I did tell you that I was going to review this. And I did get a few requests because I have a few fragrance pending, but someone asked me like, uh, could you do a full review on this? I, I really want to buy this. So I'm like, okay, sure. So there are already reviews on it. And if you really want to check, you can go Fragrantica. Excellent uh, source of uh, notes and all the information. So you get like a very good, sorry, you get a very good uh, idea of fragrances from that site. I really love it. I always refer to them as well. So good thing about Latafa, they always enlist their fragrances. The moment they come out, they do enlist them on Fragrantica. And I think it requires, perhaps it's not free. So they do invest. I like that. I like Latafa's intelligence, right? One of the best Middle Eastern houses currently, as well as uh, another house would be Fragrance World. Both of them are competing for the top spot right now. So let's see what you get. Nibras, basically, if you know uh, their niche line, basically, you'll see this one. This is Ishkal Shuyuk, okay, gold. I reviewed quite a few uh, niche line of Latafa. I did review the clone of Aventus and then the other ones check out my review i did a cover from star world as well so this one is really phenomenal presentation and all these packages come with also uh, kind of like this kind of leaflets where they give all the information regarding their other line you can see their presentations are mind-blowing you know some women's one some men's one they also have body sprays i covered these uh this one okay so basically like really really nice line and their fragrances are in this line are very long lasting as well as uh, their fragrance are very, how to say, um, fragrance are very um, high quality. Okay, so uh, let's see what you get. So Nebras, that is the leaflet. Uh, this one is a box. I think this is really, really gorgeous presentation. Feels like suede, okay? And it says the name EDP, 100 ml, thankfully. And base, you find all the information, expiry date and all that. The side, it says Latafa and holographic sticker. And it's curved here. So it says Latafa. The back also says Nebras, okay. And this one, as you can see, is the presentation is like slide out, okay. That's where the bottle stays. I think really nice cushioning. If it drops, I think it will definitely protect the bottle. The bottle is something else, okay. It looks like a mirror to me, like you know, a special mirror, okay. And I think the bottle is very pretty. This fragrance is meant for unisex purpose, I think. Really nice looking bottle, nice by finishing or polish touch. Here it says Latafa. Uh, the cap it has quality okay it has plastic plus i think uh what you call like metal okay combination okay atomizers are really good i'm not wearing something there let me spray i've been testing this for some time i'm just putting a little dash uh, sprayers are very good so this one's the clicks on to place the cap and base you find a sticker so these ones are tricky for pricing okay uh hold on yeah sorry i had like a emergency going on so i had a message i had to reply to it so, so i paused the video so i'm pretty, pretty sure it didn't affect that much in the video so as i was saying the prices i think i was at prices yes prices are kind of tricky okay when i bought very first bottle of my latafa sprite line it costed me 45 dollars okay second time i got it it was a different shop and that shop costed me around almost nearly 50 dollars the third one that i got it was around 40 dollars then i got a sample and this and that so currently these fragrances are around 35 dollars a certain shop called perfume gallery bd i think that's where they're selling it at a very affordable price but uh don't quote me on pricing this price is very different countries sometimes can go up to 60 70 dollars because the niche line if you can get it for good prices get it okay so i have the dry down here check a look at that oil okay it's been already like five seven minutes and this this oil is just something else so these fragrances are oily for sure so this fragrance has notes like red berries, mandarin, orange, vanilla, cacao, rose, sugar, chonka beans, amber, and musk. And this one gets often compared to Billie Eilish, Eilish number one of the golden bottle. So Billie Eilish, I do not follow her as an artist. I mean, she's after my time. So I stopped listening to music like a long time ago. We are old people. We listen to uh, Celine Dion, Mariah Carey, <laughs> or someone like, you know, Trisha Yeru, you know, so basically like uh our times were like long back you know if you if you hear like let's say we listen, used to listen to nsync people be like huh backstreet boys huh yeah those are our times you know i'm not gonna lie so we used to listen to the songs back in the 90s in a cassettes and stuff 
CDs and all. Anyway, so uh, eyelash number one is very expensive. If you've seen my review, I have done eyelash number one. Eyelash number two is at the back. That's the dark bottle. And there's a third one. The red one is out. I'm going to I'm gonna collect it and review it as well. But her fragrances are kind of expensive for a celebrity perfume. Even the test cost for $65. So this one, I would say not have the price. Definitely significantly cheaper. Let's see what you get. So what you get from Billie Eilish, it's kind of like a sugary, kind of like a vanillic, uh, gourmand, fruity fragrance, which has amber as well, I think, and very sweet, almost to the point of uh, unisex. And that fragrance many people love, but some people say it's way too sweet for their liking. This one right here is a solution to that. This is not uh, like that overbearing sweetness, but this one has plenty of sweetness to it. So when you smell it, you definitely get like a mix of sugary notes and then they say red berries i get more like cranberry a little bit of a uh, sweetness red berry like at the same time that orange really creates this nice fruity opening which i really like at this point i'm reminded of a little bit of baccarat rouge sort of orangey opening that has a musk mellow or marshmallow kind of a smell uh, this one i also get okay so this perfume uh, develops to be more like a gourmand the vanilla cacao combination is so delicious uh, you will see in reviews many ladies love this many men loved it and for good reason this is such a lovey dovey it reminds me of a fragrance i tell you more than billy eilish nobody compared to it it's called zerjok i think it's called lira i used to have lira lira is so unwearable so expensive and so uh not uh versatile because lira is something i cannot wear in warmer setup because of that too much spices too much warmth of the vanilla this one right here is cold weather beauty <clears throat> no doubt about that but at the same time if you want to wear you can pull it off in almost all year round depending on the situation if you let's say have a little bit of a like a ac going on or you know like a house party i'm sorry i'm gonna be sipping on some uh, juice or something because the voice is disturbing a bit so yeah this fragrance definitely is more wearable than billy eilish more affordable presentation wise also I think this one really steals the show. Billie Eilish bottles are really gorgeous, okay? No doubt about it, but very cumbersome and very difficult to manage. And that bottle, you know, I feel un uncomfortable touching it. And I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> it's a silly thing to say, but if you see this bottle, I mean, if you hold it wrongly, you know, people uh, commented on my video that I'm touching it inappropriately or something. I mean, I saw, you know, so I deleted those comments. <laughs> but uh, this bottle is just straight up gorgeous. This feels like something... Um, egyptian kings and you know royal families would own right some people might find it very bling bling, bling but i'll tell you this is something uh, wearable affordable version of zerge of lira and in short billy eilish number one who is it for both genders for sure it definitely has that sweetness and i think there's a fruity tone undertone to it but the sweetness is carried through the tonka beans as well so tonka vanilla and cacao creates this beautiful base which is uh, very rich for this fragrance even at this point okay still oily this one longevity is crazy crazy good you can get eight to ten hours okay i'm talking about european conditions cooler setup you can get up to 10 hours plus and even if you wake up maybe in a colder setup you will get like hints of or wafts of the fragrance hint of a uh, rose somewhere which makes this fragrance kind of floral so i really really like it and as our winters are not happening but we have like decent enough uh, cool breeze going on i'm enjoying wearing this for the walk evening walk special at the evening time like when the sun is down you really really enjoy it if you have a couple of sprays on your neck how many sprays i would go like not more than three to four sprays okay this is adequate if you really want to make it long lasting go five to six okay like really really like late night outing for dinner purpose you're gonna hang out for a little late you're gonna be back you know driving back at midnight uh say from somewhere from six to like 12 or one and late night you may you know want to wear five sprays of it right so everybody will smell your perfume but the best part of this fragrance it doesn't really disturb me i really enjoy that about this fragrance it's not that sort of loud like rasa shura layu kwam that it's aggressive abrasive you know this one doesn't do that very well done fragrance even though it's long lasting it doesn't disturb others the people who smell your fragrance for at least three feet to five feet but it doesn't really uh, like disturb the people sitting next to you like 24 gold by sense store you see so this is a gourmand you can wear it reminds me of fragrances like this you know i really love this fragrance also french coffee by fragrance world i think or what is this called fragrance world i think yeah, i forgot the name sorry i'll rehab yeah i forget this house's name sometimes so this kind of uh gourmand uh, you know affordable fragrance this is a little bit more expensive for sure 
but good quality so i give this fragrance over a 9 out of 10 very beautiful presentation nice bottle 100 ml edp everything check 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 right so i prefer this over billy eilish for sure because that fragrance bottle if you buy retail back at least it cost me like 75 to 85 dollars not gonna do that i can get two bottles of this or any other fragrance you know for example i just if i add five dollars okay so you can get two perfumes for the price of one so if it's not your bottle obsession you can buy nibras so check it out it's a good fragrance for both gents and ladies in uh, uh, fall would be the best time to wear this and if at night time if you're wearing it in the ac room also works but when it's high heat you know in the sun do not wear it okay that's the only thing it will become too animalic and it will become too powdery and messy okay have a nice time watching one more video then we'll upload this take care